Have you ever wondered how GMs plan and create adventures? Have you ever wanted to hear what other GMs think about games and rules and characters? Well, in this series of videos, I am going to share with you my experiences of being a GM. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the Gibbering GM. Hello and welcome to my new series of videos titled The Gibbering GM. You join me in my <clears throat> lofty eerie here up in the clouds. Welcome. Now I've been a GM for a number of years and when I was thinking about ideas for new videos on this channel I thought it would be great to share some of my ideas with you all about how I create adventures, how I GM, how I provide the narrative on the condition that you share some of your ideas back with me. There's nothing like good discussion or conversation. Now, you might have noticed that I'm using the term GM rather than the popular used DM or even keeper. Well, this is a conscious decision because I wanted to make the discussion um, as inclusive as it could possibly be. So rather than sort of like saying a dungeon master and then being focused straight into Dungeons and Dragons, I was hoping to use the term GM and to be more encompassing. So I first started to GM with the first edition of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, that was a long time ago. And since then, I've GM'd for Shadowrun, Starfinder, 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons, Call of Cthulhu, and my current main game at the moment is a rule set called Mithras. You might have seen some of my videos on this channel about the rule set on our actual plays. So, First up this week, on the, or this first session, I wanted to pose a question to you all. And the question is one that I'm going to answer throughout this video. And it's quite simply, why do you GM? What, what do you like about GMing? What, what is it that you th always grab those rules and say, yes, I'll be a GM? What is that? Well, let me know after you've listen to the rest of the video that let me know in the comments below and don't forget that if you have liked this video then please like comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out my patreon page as well as all my other social media sites links are down in the description so let's get on with it so why do i gm well first up and i hope this is the answer of for all of you is that we enjoy it. We actually enjoy being the game master, but maybe I should rephrase the question somewhat because maybe I should be saying, why do you enjoy being a GM? Why, why do you get that? What gives you that thrill to actually be the GM or be the first person to say, yes, I'll do it. I remember when we first started to play Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, um, I had not played that for a long time and well I've never played 5th edition before but once somebody mentioned it and they said they were looking for a GM I immediately say yes I would do it so why is it why do I enjoy or why do you enjoy GMing so much well first up I have to say that I'm probably the least creative person around I can't draw I can't paint I can't create music, I can't do interpretive dance. Even my merchandise designs are plain and simple because I lack that, that ability to um, be creative in those areas. I do, however, and this is very frustrating, have loads of creative ideas. They're constantly spewing forth in my head. And I'm sort of like thinking, how do I communicate these? How do I get all these ideas out? I'm constantly venturing into fancy worlds or reading books or developing new characters, NPCs, or thinking about other possibilities within films. And I found that in order to communicate some of these ideas or a small proportion of these ideas, 
I can actually GM and it provides me with the opportunity to actually live in some of those worlds that I'm constantly thinking about and possibly with the help of the players of course actually bring some of my creative ideas into existence just to let you know if you can hear the whooshing of wind do not worry it's because it's very hot here at the moment when I'm recording this and I'm underneath a bright light and I've got the window slightly open so don't be put off by the whooshing of wind. Anyway, second up on my list of why do I enjoy GMing has to be the element of storytelling. Now, although if you watch any of my videos you will see me erming a lot. I, I know I do it, I've listened back to them. I do like to create the narrative. I like to play characters. I like to interact with players. And I always hope that the players themselves give some kind of visual representation of the scene or scenario that, that I have in my mind's eye. And then I, I hopefully that they see something not exactly the same, but I, through the narrative, I create a scene or scenario in their mind's eye as well. And I never want to compare and contrast, but I just want to hopefully bring them into a world and let them to start to engage with other people and other scenarios. I still think I've got quite a long way to go with this skill, but I do really enjoy it. And as we all know, if you really enjoy something, then you'll tend to be very motivated to practice it and to use it over and over again. And finally, yes, we're nearly there, don't worry. I really enjoy rules. Now, I don't mean that I'm sort of some kind of rule zombie who blindly follows them or I forget what they call like a rule ninja that always plays by the exact words. I, I'm not like that. What I do like is that or what I do mean is that I like to figure rules out and try to remember them. My brain seems to remember rules left, right and center. And I really like it when I get a situation that the players normally provide for me, when I have to unpick that scenario, unpick that situation, and then try to apply different rules to it. And in the end, actually make a decision that might be in agreement. The other players might be completely in agreement, or I might have to ensure that I present that that sense of balance and it might not go against what they it might go against what they actually want i consider it almost like problem solving and i really do enjoy problem solving i love mathematics science computer programming anything like that and i think that really promotes the problem solving skill and so that's it that's why i enjoy gming so what about you why don't you let me know in the comments below and and before you dash off don't forget to press that bell button so you can get notified when my next video goes live i hope you've enjoyed this first video of this series i'm definitely looking forward to creating some more but until then this is the gibbering gm failing a saving throw losing connection with the matrix and being engulfed in his own insanity See ya.